Friday Eve. <laughs> it is 6.14 in the morning and I am getting ready to do my apple cider vinegar concoction with some water. So I am going to hightail it a little bit early today to work because I want to go to Kroger and pick up a couple of items. Um, my husband drinks that diet tea. I don't drink that. It's like the diet green tea. I really don't do that. I, I really don't do any diet drinks because it's just, I don't like the taste of it. You know, the aftertaste. I'm trying to get used to it because I know with the lower carb, you know, it's going to slowly try to transition to keto. But right now I'm just starting off with just lowering my carb intake. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying so hard to get used to that aftertaste and I cannot, it's so freaking, I, I don't know, I'm trying, so I'm going to keep on, but right now they have like the buy five, save five on like diet drinks and things like that. So I may try to pick up a couple of snacks for my kids as well. So that way I can take it home. They can have it for the weekend. Um, cause I think that they have like the goldfish. It's going to be on sale for like 89 cents. So we'll see. But in the meantime, let me get, this is day four of my drink. Y'all, I'm so proud of myself. I never thought ever in a million years that I, normally I'm like one or two days of me trying something and I'm like, yeah, but I'm surprised that I'm actually doing the intermittent fasting. Um, I'm holding out. I'm still doing it. So um and i'm surprised that i'm still drinking this so bottoms up y'all i have to say i'm getting slowly getting used to it it has like a lemony taste even without me adding anything else <laughs> So, yeah, getting used to that. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting dressed because obviously, as you can tell, I have bed hair. I'm going to rinse. Sorry. I'm going to rinse my mouth out, brush it, get it ready, and probably pick up my hair and get ready to hightail it to Kroger real quick before I have to go into work and see if I can come up with a couple of deals. So we shall see. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be going to the store anytime soon. Y'all, I can barely see. So this is my current situation right now. Um, yeah, no, I'm not. I was gonna try to go and do a deal, but there, there's, yeah, no, there's no way. So. Let me go because it's green. Y'all, I'm a hot mess. Um, I'm soaking wet. <laughs> it is so freaking bad. Like, you, there is no way. I don't know how people are going to make it, but it is bad. Um, the streets are starting to flood a little bit. I am, like, trying to find a high spot. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. And I'm the only one here at work because everybody is stuck at like a gas station. So it's really bad. So I don't know what we're going to do. Um, I think they're trying to call patients, the ones who can, because we do have two locations. And then we have someone who is off site um, that is trying to call. So I can't even get in the building because the building is locked. Like there, it, I can't even get in to help move patients around i am like soaking wet <laughs> uh, as you can see that's that's water back there so um yeah crazy y'all freaking crazy so one of the girls was able to push through but i don't know how far she can push because she has one of those little roadster cars I don't know and it's like pretty much like this much off the ground so we'll <laughs> I, I don't know and it's like a couple of inches I want to say like maybe three inches so I'm parking in the front right now because it's kind of like 
it's kind of tilted up at an angle so I'm sorry I know I'm not supposed to park up here in the front because that's for patients but Jennifer is here Jennifer's trying to get in and Jennifer's trying to help out so I'm pretty sure they're not gonna get mad at me for parking up front oh my gosh I'm like soaking wet right now and I'm cold <laughs> so yeah this is my Thursday so far cray cray I can tell you that for sure so let me I'm getting messages so let me see where we're at and luckily I have a brush so you know what I'm gonna just um, I was gonna say let me see where we're at with um, people coming in but you know what I have a brush so I'm gonna pick up my hair and you know what this is sad that I have to hide my brush because these these girls of mine they like always take my stuff like I they all have brushes and I don't understand why they take my brush so yeah no I have to hide mine. I have to literally hide mine in my glove depart department compartment just to prevent them from stealing um my freaking my freaking brush. You know, I would understand if I only bought like one, but come on guys. I have they all have their own brushes, but they always want to take mine. I say mine's is better supposedly, but I call bull crap on that. So, oh, I see somebody coming in. I don't know if they're with our clinic or what. Hopefully, hopefully, I don't know. We'll see. I need one more hair thingy because I'm almost there. And I have to hide hair thingies too in my and my um and my whatchamacallit this is what I'm gonna do I hope it stops raining because y'all I cannot I do not want my car flooded out you know I mean who who doesn't who who wants that nobody does but I'm like this is this car has been paid off in cash I don't I cannot afford another car note, you know? I'm trying to get out of debt, not put myself in debt. So I'm just like, oh man, I hope I hope and pray that this calms down. Um and I don't flood out my car. It's I'm just praying guys because I don't even know how I even made it in here, to be honest. Like, you could not see anything, and I, I don't even know, by the grace of God, I made it here safely. So, let me check. Let me check, see what messages we got going on, and then, um, yeah, go from there. So, I'll keep you guys posted. Um, so, yeah, prayers that this calms down, because I do not want to get stuck here. So, I'll check it in a little bit. Okay, so real quick update. I'm going outside to go see. We're closing at noon. So, um, it is flooding everywhere. Like, it is flooding so bad. So, we're going to wait until like noon. Hopefully, it dies down. But parts of Houston is flooding. Uh, right now, we're getting it in intermittent. So, it's like pouring down rain really hard and then it stops but I know like parts of like Splendora is flooding um, it's heading out to Beaumont things like that it, it is crazy it's heading to the north side so there's a lot we we only saw two patients which I don't even know why they even drive here because I wouldn't but um, yeah it is like really really bad right now uh, so hopefully it calms down and I get to go home. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna leave like around noon and then I'm gonna see how the road is. But this is my little quick update that I wanted to let you guys know. 
as I'm vlogging all of this. This is so freaking crazy, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, it just came out of nowhere, honestly. Everybody kept saying, like, how did this happen? It honestly just came out of nowhere. It was, like, so fast. And it was just, like, so much water dumped in at once. So it's just, like, the grounds couldn't take all that water that was being dumped. So anyways, let me hightail it back inside. Um, and then, yeah, I will update pretty soon as soon as uh, I leave here. Hey, guys. So it is noon. And... I'm leaving. Thank goodness, because it was crazy. You get so scared and nervous, like you don't wanna, you can't concentrate at work. Um, right now it is sprinkling. So I'm driving to my, I mean driving, I'm walking to my car. Hopefully the weather cooperates enough to let me get home. There's okay, sorry about that. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> That's when I'm trying to carry my purse, carry some paperwork to take to the other clinic. Um, hopefully this uh, rain die, dies down and I can go to work as normal. But yeah, um, I'm going to take it slow, make, take my time, and hopefully make it home safe without any issues. So y'all pray for me. All right, guys. So I am home. I am soaking wet. Um... I didn't want to record because I was trying to get all my kids concentrating on getting to my kids because sure enough, what they do, did a lockdown. So I hightailed it to as fast as I could safely to pick up my kids. So now all of them are at home. Everybody is safe. I'm only worried about my husband because he works for the city and he's a tier one, meaning that it doesn't matter the emergencies you're there so I'm super worried about him um, hopefully he will you know call me or text me and let me know that he's okay but he, earlier today he screenshot and he sent me a picture they actually have them out on the road so I'm just so worried about him but anyways I think I'm gonna end my vlog for today because I am tired I am wet I need to take a shower a hot shower before I catch any kind of pneumonia, bronchitis, something. So, I will be back with another video soon. Talk to you later. Bye.